Today I'm gonna to talk a little bit about what meditation is, how it can help your pool game, and how you can do it yourself. Let's run the intro. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. So meditation and hypnosis can get you into a really good feeling state so that you're playing pool better. That's the first thing it can do for you. It gets you in this good mood. So if you do meditation or hypnosis right before your pool match, you're really going to start to feel good and feeling good makes you play good pool. The second thing it can do, um, hypnosis. So if you're doing a guided hypnosis, essentially what you can do is get a hypnosis recording or a session or go on YouTube and search a hypnosis and you can change your beliefs on pool and your attitudes towards pool and it can make you more confident when you're playing pool. Say if someone just watches you play pool and they say, oh, you're such a good pool player. That's gonna make you more confident and, and that's gonna get into your subconscious and it's gonna make you feel like you're a really good pool player. And if someone keeps on telling you that, that you're a good pool player, you're gonna continue to think that you're really good at pool because people keep telling you that you're good. And that's kind of what hypnosis is. When you're in the hypnotic state or a meditative state, you can basically tell yourself that you're really good at pool and you're gonna feel good because you're like, I'm really good at pool. And then basically it's gonna change your subconscious beliefs around pool. Meditation and hypnosis is good because when you're doing them, you can really detach from the end result. If you're in a money game or a tournament, you can let go of the fear of losing and it reduces your worry and your fear. Another thing that it allows you to do is it allows you to become more mindful of your actions on the pool table. If you have a bad habit of shooting too fast, help you to be mindful of when you're about to shoot fast and to stop yourself. And so you can become more aware of your actions and once you're aware of your actions you can change the way you play pool so if you meditate or do hypnosis before you play your pool match and you have like a high pressure match it's not going to completely take away the nerves in a high pressure situation but it's going to reduce it like a lot because the way you can reduce your nerves around playing pool in high pressure situations is meditation and hypnosis i mean you can play a lot of pool and you can play in these high pressure situations but to really actually reduce your nerves like now, you, you just do an hour of meditation or hypnosis before you go to play pool. And so when you do a lot of meditation or a lot of hypnosis, there's a, a barrier between the conscious mind and the subconscious mind. And basically what happens is the more you do meditation or hypnosis, the thinner that barrier becomes. It's not gonna completely erode away. It's kind of, it's not a real thing, but it's just like, the more you meditate or the more you do hypnosis, the easier it's gonna be for you to get in that good feeling state. And that's gonna help you to be a lot less nervous when you're playing your matches. So if you do meditation, focus on like an hour a day, and you do it for like two weeks. At the end of that two weeks, it's gonna be easier for you to let go and be in that good feeling state than it was for you at the beginning. Because usually if you're new to meditation, it's gonna, be kind of difficult for you to get in that good feeling state because you're gonna be trying and trying and all that trying to get into the good state is really gonna stop you because you're just saying to yourself, well, I'm not in that state now, I'm not in that state now, I, I need to be in a different state. So essentially what you learn to do is you learn to let go instead of try more. And so once you let go, you can elevate your state. And so what this is good for in your meditation with your pool game is that you can let go when you're in a high pressure situation and you can let go of any fear or any nervousness and that's gonna help you to be a lot less nervous when you're playing your matches. And so meditation, the first step is to calm your mind down and the second step is to change your subconscious beliefs so that you can achieve some sort of goal. So how you do meditation, is you sit with a straight back. Depending on how strict you wanna be, you may wanna read some sort of book about it. I'll tell you about a book that I read that's important later in this video. You sit with a straight back, focus on your breath. Focus on breathing out of your nose or your mouth 
And then when you forget to focus on your breath, you just keep redirecting your mind back to your breath until the timer ends. And the more you do this, the more you're gonna get better at it. And at first, you're not gonna wanna put too much pressure on yourself. If you focus on your breath one time throughout the whole meditation, then that's a good thing. You're not gonna wanna put any pressure on yourself because your mind is gonna be racing and you're gonna be like, why can't I stop my mind? Why can't I stop my mind? What I try to think of when I do meditation is I'm basically just pretty much sitting there and sometimes I focus on my breath when I remember and I'm basically sitting there in the silence until I just start to calm down. You can do it 20 minutes, 15 minutes, 10 minutes, but I try to do it like an hour because if you do it an hour, you're gonna get a momentum into the meditation where if you do it 15 or 10 minutes, it's not really gonna, you're not gonna get as much of a momentum and you're not gonna feel really good from it thinking, but it's still gonna have an effect, but not as much if you would have did it for an hour. And so hypnosis is basically a guided meditation. What it does is it tells you pretty much what to do. It like, it just tells you and you listen to it and when it says, oh, focus on your breath, you focus on your breath. And when it says, uh, just relax, you, you relax. And maybe it'll say, oh, you relax your shoulders. And then it'll say, relax your legs and relax, relax your hands. And then you just do that. So guided hypnosis is better for a beginner because you can listen to hypnosis no matter what level you're at and it'll still work. But at the beginning level, it's better to do a hypnosis because it's, it's guided. You don't have to sit there and be bored. You have something to listen to. Because at the beginning, you're gonna be really bored of doing the meditation. You're gonna want to listen to something because it's easier. If your choice is to do meditation, I do know of a good book that actually can benefit your meditation practice. It's called The Miracle of Mindfulness by Thich Nhat Hanh, and I'll put it right here. So basically, this book tells you about meditation. It's a Zen book. It tells you how to do meditation and it tells you what to do after your meditation practice, like throughout your day. So what you should be doing is just focusing on everything you're doing and like don't let your mind wander and you just, when you're walking, you just walk and you focus on your walking. And then when you're washing dishes, you just focus on washing dishes. You don't think about other things and maybe when you're throughout your day, you focus on your breath or you just focus on something other than your incessant thinking. So I make custom personalized hypnosis recordings for people to improve their pool game so that you can become the best pool player that you possibly can be. Message me on Facebook, the link will be in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon if you wanna see more posts from me in the future. Comment down below if you liked the video. Thanks guys.